Okay, today I'm gonna to teach you how to build a kick-ass altar. So first and foremost, let's talk. What is an altar? An altar is a sacred space in your home that helps to connect you not only to your most genuine, deepest self, it helps to nurture your spirit and to connect you to your guides, to your angels, to your unseen support systems, and a reminder that you're not alone, that you can turn things over, and a place of magic and rest and support. I love altars. They are powerful portals of connection and spirit that we can put anywhere. We don't, an altar doesn't need to be a big deal, but energy gathers and collects. And so when we create a space, it can even just be a tiny corner of our home and say, this is our, my sacred space here. That energy entrains. That's like when you walk into a, a, any holy place, a temple, a church, a synagogue, a mosque, any sacred site, we can feel the vibration. You can feel that peace. You can feel that energy because it entrains, it gathers. And when we show up to our altars, we create that beautiful, sacred, powerful place in our homes. And not only is it a reminder to connect, not only is it a reminder to turn things over that we have support, but it's also a place of rest and gathering. And our minds work in images, that's how we think. And so when we can also have a place, a visual cue, it can train our conscious mind to pay attention, our subconscious mind for support, and remind us to ask for guidance and for assistance. So I'm gonna help you build your kick-ass altar in a few steps or less. So first step, find your sacred space. It doesn't have to be a big deal. It can be a, a, a tissue paper. Just having that be your marked place of intention. This is my altar. Second, gather things that speak to your heart space. So some of the things that I love. First, I am a big fan of candles. I buy a lot of candles either at the dollar store, you can for like a dollar, which are great. These are my prayer candles. Anytime that I pray for somebody or need help or support, it's a beautiful way that I can light it, stick it on my altar as a visual reminder of me turning things over. So if you're somebody who feels like entitled to good to candles, get a candle, you get a flameless candle, not necessary. Again, you do you, boo. Second thing that I am gonna ask you to gather, which actually probably before the candle, is a cloth, anything. You don't have to have a cloth, but it gives you a good marker of space. This is an old bandana that I had from a long time ago. And that, like, that becomes sort of the layout. This one here is a handkerchief that was my grandmother's who passed. And so I love to connect with her energy and it gives it like a very special, beautiful, connected place. Second of all, gather your items. So do you like holy cards? Do you have any iconography? Do you have any statues? Anything. It doesn't have to be complicated. Some of the things that I love is I always love a, a sacred feminine, a divine feminine, this lady lords of lords. Reminds me to connect and be nurtured. That's something that speaks and resonates to me. Um, but we can, when we get images, you can print them off Pinterest, anything. And it it's a good visual reminder. So think about what are your favorite things. And if you have an Oracle deck that you work with, you can go through and pull a card from there. And that's also a really beautiful way that we can help to support our altar. Uh, other things that I would encourage you to get are some photos. I'm big on having photos of people that I love, like my little family members, my friends, you know, things that are important to me. And when we can put those up on our altars, they serve as visual cues. Other things that I would really encourage you to get, I'm looking down on all my things are, you know, I like to collect some different rocks and ones that are shaped like hearts, but I have one right here that my grandfather gave me. You know, this is something that's important to me and helps to connect me. That's the most important part. It's not about the stuff. Like every single thing on my altar is important or has meaning to me in one way or another, but you can gather your crystals. You can gather anything that feels good. I've got shells, I've got rocks, I've got river teeth. 
<laughs> that my best friend gave me. Um, and we can put them on that beautiful cloth. Last, you know, it doesn't always have to be serious. This is one of my friends that lives on my altar, Chupa. He reminds me of my inner child to play, of fun and support for my spirit. So we can also like anything. Chupa lives on my altar most of the time. And another really great way to not only clear the space, but set the intention is using incense. So we can use Palo Santo, any incense, anything. But when we use incense, it helps to train our senses and bring us into the present moment to help to connect. So those are some of the things that I use because altars in my world are living. It's important to pay attention to them, to go through them, think about what's on my altar. What, what serves its purpose? Where do I need extra help or support? What items hold value? What, what needs to go? What needs to come? Because sometimes altars can become static. And so a great way that I like to really connect with that is I love a live element. Like you can see a little flower there. And when we have a plant or a flower, not only is it an offering and an offering of gratitude to our guides and our angels, but for me, it helps to remind and anchor me that this is a living thing. And the more that I nurture and attend to it and pay attention to it and love it, the more and more and more that that energy entrains. So I hope that you enjoyed my video on how to build a kick-ass altar. The most important thing is what speaks to you. What are the things that you love? What are things and, and items that speak to your heart space? That is the most important thing. It doesn't matter. The rest is just beautiful decorations and our solid images that can help to remind us. So get photos, people you love, your ancestors, any uh, last, last other thing I would like to do sometimes. I like a little candy. <laughs> For my guys, for my life is sweet. So those are just some of my things that I use. I would love to hear you. Do you have an altar? What is on it? Let me know. And I hope that you enjoyed this. And yeah, sending you all my love. If you haven't already, head to my website, sonyatelli.com. You can download my free spiritual toolkit with a meditation and workbook to help you not only strengthen your intuition, but trust your spirit because you are amazing. Sending you all my love. Bye.